So <clears throat> let me to invite you for a conceptual discovery expedition into a disciplinary jungle or maze. Um, uh, these two concepts, citizen science and citizen empowerment, uh, are not the most popular ones when approaching uh, citizenship uh, narratives or discourses. So first of all, try to taste them uh, like uh, my uh, outstanding colleague Zolta Mijay yesterday. So taste citizen science. Uh, <clears throat> there is something um, uh, snaky in it, you know, citizen science or citizen empowerment. Uh, or um, uh, if we have a uh, uh, soundscape, uh, we can have a, a conceptscape too. So try to sing uh, um, uh, the term citizen science. Uh, citizen science, you know, like in the Twilight Saga, here comes the human, citizen science, or, or citizen empowerment, like the, like the trumpet. Uh, uh, it's more uh, sounds more 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 serious, more uh, more important, more rude um, um, uh, concept. Um, and why it is important to to feel the concept itself because uh, your possible position or preliminary knowledge about these concepts are very very different or heterogeneous. So <clears throat> if you don't mind, I propose to to make a to make a short uh, interactive part, um, uh, please um, uh, decide your uh, level of preliminary knowledge about the citizen science. It will be the first letter you will write into the chat box. And the citizen empowerment, choose your second letter and write it into the chat box. And later we can, um, we can summarize um, um, uh, your letters, but I am absolutely sure um, um, uh, that the this preliminary knowledge is very, very different. Um, uh, there are a lot of um, um, uh, colors and heterogeneity in it. Uh, so uh, it um, um, it provide and uh, produces empathy. <laughs> Uh, so, if, if you know a lot of details, I will talk about later. Uh, uh, sorry for that, but but maybe there are newbies who 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 meet first uh, with this expression. So now I, I think that you have you had enough time to decide your position and your choice. You had enough time to write it into the chat box. And later we will see uh, what is the result um, uh, of it. <clears throat> okay, so um, um, when we are talking about uh, uh, concepts, it's always um, um, popular to show um, um, uh, the number of uh, mentions or, or, or the rise of number of mentions in different contexts. We, uh, we, can, we can see this uh, for computer scientists. Citizen science is far more popular than electrical engineers. Uh, of course, uh, um, uh, in a Google search, the numbers are totally different, uh, um, uh, but um, uh, it is very expressive to see uh, uh, that around 2008, something happened in the world, in the digital ecosystem, um, um, uh, from which point the citizen science became extremely popular and important. Um, of of course, uh, uh, the first use was um, uh, uh, in, in, in the pre-internet era um, uh, in 89, um, uh, but we have to see uh, behind the concept always the fertile discourses or the vivid practices in the real world. Uh, and uh, luckily, uh, uh, the citizen science as a topic or an issue or a domain is now is a scientific domain. It's a discipline. 
um, um, uh, there are publications in the book on the science of citizen science. Um, uh, so just for, uh, uh, from a, a, a rapid review of uh, book covers, <coughs> we can feel we can feel the the uh, trajectory of the discourse. Um, and, uh, and we can also feel the segments of, uh, of the citizen science um, um, uh, discourse as a scientific problem. Uh, of course, um, uh, there is a long way uh, regularly uh, to the institutionalization of a new or a brand new discipline. Uh, um, and and mm, there are uh, uh, in, in, important regular features uh, um, uh, of the institutionalization of the release or biannual um, uh, journals, um, uh, um, professional associations, and the conferences, university courses. Now, that's why I said the citizens as a discourse is a grown up. It's not matured yet, but it's a grown-up discourse, and uh, uh, it has a lot of uh, very important angles um, uh, to check. So, uh, what is citizen science? Um, uh, I prefer not to provide you definitions um, uh, or collect definitions, but important features. Uh, uh, I think that these features have to be uh, in all uh, uh, definitions, um, um, uh, they are the most important aspects of, uh, of, uh, of the citizen science world. Um, uh, we are, when we are talking about citizen science, um, uh, it is a collaboration of few scholars or museologists with many volunteer non-scholars. Um, and so it is not a is not an amateur science or hobby science, uh, <clears throat> because these research projects are <clears throat> led uh, by professionals, and volunteers are performing micro tasks. Uh, there are a lot of possibilities uh, where and how to perform these micro tasks. Um, uh, so the the uh, design of the projects is extremely different um, uh, when uh, it is uh, run in a natural environment or it is run in an urban environment or in a digital environment. Um, uh, and, uh, and of course, memory institutions are also provide special environment for, um, uh, for micro, micro tasks um, uh, sharing. Um, uh, there are a great number of, um, of um, uh, micro-task type activities, what volunteers, citizens can do uh, uh, for the success of a research uh, uh, project. I'm, I'm, I made a list, <laughs> you can uh, multitask um, uh, and check all these activity forms. Um, uh, as, a, as a historian and, uh, and the prophet of digital humanities, of course, I like, or my attention is always uh, focused on the documentary heritage related micro tasks, uh, uh, to digitize them, uh, transcribe them, um, um, uh, correct the transcription, um, uh, providing metadata to the text, um, um, uh, tagging um, uh, all documents and so on. Uh, but the essence of citizen science is producing new sci scientific results that a single scientist could never achieve on their own. And uh, uh, this is a crucial moment because uh, uh, some, uh, sometimes citizen science is, um, uh, the usage of citizen science is very confused uh, because there is nothing about uh, the dissemination of science or science communication or science popularization. Uh, uh, these are uh, multiplying existing knowledges. And uh, the, the, the main um, uh, feature of citizen science project is to provide new 
scientific knowledge, added value to the former set of uh, scientific knowledges. Um, I am absolutely sure that um, um, uh, you could read about um, uh, the most highlighted citizen science projects. Um, 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 they are very interesting and colorful to be able to, to, um, um, uh, to multiply through the news agencies, um, um, uh, landing, landing in social media sites uh, or public websites. Um, um, uh, there are a lot of uh, personal stories about um, um, uh, these uh, emblematic projects, um, um, about the Guatemalan um, um, housewife who became who became uh, <coughs> the the leading uh, um, uh, 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 galaxy um, uh, um, uh, analyst in the Galaxy Zoo project with 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 a very low um, um, uh, school record. Um, 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 there are a lot of there were a lot of news about the folded project because it had a. Um, um, a game environment. So while while the uh, users were playing with uh, special uh, protein structures, uh, 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 they they could provide extremely important new analytic knowledge about these protein structures, and uh, and it was sensational that people could uh, really outperform algorithmically computed solutions. So uh, my personal favorite <coughs> uh, is the project of the youngest citizen scientist, seven years old British schoolboys, uh, <coughs> uh, a whole class and his teachers made an experiment with, uh, with um, uh, different color waters and, uh, um, uh, and poor water and uh, uh, water with sugar. Uh, to check the navigation strategies of bees, and they published their result um, um, uh, in a in a scientific journal. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, just uh, to be to be able to um, um, uh, step beyond on the emblematic citizen science project, I have to underline that. Uh, uh, the most popular uh, citizen science projects are come from um, uh, the environmental monitoring um, 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 sweet order sea and forest are the are the leading environments of these projects so uh, <clears throat> maybe you could hear about the long prehistory of citizen science um, um, uh, it has started. Uh, more than 100, 100 years ago with uh, with an ornithology project with which uh, which uh, community or social trigger was the overhunting of uh, bird population in Massachusetts and Pennsylvania um, um, of course a second wave came uh, in the mid 90s where uh, um, a lot of platform platforms uh, were built uh, to be able to collect unused compute, computing power to provide this power uh, for projects, um, 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 projects applied for uh, this computing power, uh, and uh, the simpler power was able to support a lot of um, um, uh, research programs which we're not able to um, um, uh, manage or design without these um, uh, capacities. It's interesting to see that uh, um, in the era of mobile phones, uh, <coughs> when, uh, when a mobile phone is also um, a, a small power plant, uh, <coughs> now there are applications um, um, uh, uh, for uh, mobile phones uh, to use the power of mobile phones uh, into similar uh, research projects. And uh, for my, again, my personal favorite um, 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 was the project when uh, researchers could use uh, uh, the hard drives, 
because their vibration sensor could support the, uh, to track the earthquake um, uh, uh, spread and uh, thousands or 10,000s um, uh, offered or provide uh, uh, their data uh, and provide access to their hard, uh, hard disk. Uh, <clears throat> But of course, um, um, uh, the detonation of, uh, of the citizen science um, uh, is, uh, um, uh, took place in the crowdsource era, uh, uh, when in a digital environment, um, um, uh, there is no uh, limits in the number of uh, participants, um, uh, the, uh, the ambition um, uh, to collect uh, power uh, is changed from chip power to brain power, from micro capacity of computers to micro task. Um, uh, these projects needed um, uh, uh, the eyes of uh, uh, digital citizens, the digital natives, their mind, their ability to recognize pattern um, uh, of course, uh, uh, pieces from their lifetimes and, uh, and uh, talking about environmental or urban projects, uh, uh, of course, their feet, <coughs> uh, their feet uh, uh, walk, travel, and uh, of course, the tools. Um, um, a, a mobile phone is a moving laboratory um, uh, and uh, what uh, the bringing your own device in the business environment, <coughs> uh, <coughs> that is um, uh, uh, a mobile laboratory in the crowdsource era. Uh, uh, now it's time to, it's time to um, contemplate around, around the most important um, uh, questions of uh, citizen science. <clears throat> why it has happened, how possible and feasible um, uh, are these uh, citizen science uh, uh, projects. Uh, I, I think these eight aspects uh, are the most important, so, uh, most important ones. Um, um, uh, you could see from any, any communication angles that civilization challenges are transformed um, uh, en masse uh, uh, into motivation to change something in the world. And since uh, middle class people has more free time um, uh, to deal with um, um, uh, issues uh, which are important and interesting for them, uh, <coughs> uh, citizen science became possible. Um, uh, uh, from the other part, from the pressure from uh, the science, um, um, uh, scientists could uh, learn uh, from the mid nineties uh, <coughs> that they again and again facing the head with the shortage of money to spend for research. And uh, uh, they could also always feel that uh, the number of scientists are, are uh, limited and uh, uh, always less than the recognized needs. Uh, they need allied forces, they need, they need minds, they need lifetimes. <clears throat> so um, these two parts um, uh, could uh, combine or joined. Um, uh, and as we could see in the digital environment, there are no limits in the size of collaborative problem solving communities. Big data needs, big epistemic allied forces. Uh, <clears throat> mega science, <clears throat> big scientific machineries um, um, uh, produces enormous um, uh, quantity of data and, uh, um, and uh, uh, machine processing is not enough um, 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 uh, to use or to harvest from uh, this data. Um, uh, mega science needs minds uh, and uh, it is also an important aspect that uh, uh, to be able to take part in citizen science project uh, <coughs> was founded by the slow revolution in science education. 
um, um, uh, in the last 30 years, there was a kind of uh, revolution of didactics uh, in science education, um, um, uh, approaching to the uh, new kind of um, of um, uh, of uh, uh, encounter with with um, uh, scientific problems. Uh, exploratory um, uh, learning, exploratory natural sciences, uh, and so on. So if, if just we, we check the numbers, um, uh, you can uh, <clears throat> you can imagine the 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 volume of uh, of citizen science uh, since there is no way to see, uh, one time, every important project or aspect. Just you, we can imagine what does it mean three thousand active global citizen science project. What does it uh, uh, it mean ten more than ten thousand national or local citizen science project? And uh, uh, if we think to a number of professional uh, professional researchers, uh, uh, we have. Um, um, about 8 million uh, scholars now. And uh, it is now almost the same of the number of active citizen scientists uh, um, um, in, in, in 2020. Uh, but the potential number of citizen scientists is considerably bigger. If we just talk about the middle, mi middle class potential citizen scientists, it's 1 billion people today and 3.2 billion to 2050. So <clears throat> it, it is a, um, um, uh, really a provoking, uh, <clears throat> a provoking, they are uh, provoking numbers. Um, uh, and uh, uh, we can feel the dynamism of, um, of um, uh, citizen science when the classic citizen science is about uh, very narrow uh, types of um, of uh, activity forms or micro tasks, and uh, they are dedicated only to PhD students or the higher um, um, higher level of uh, uh, possible knowledge producers, postgraduate and university college or high school level. But the so-called extreme citizen science is about to expand this universe, uh, uh, there are more and more possible tasks uh, on the value chain of uh, producing scientific knowledge. And there are uh, more people from, uh, from the low uh, age cohorts, um, um, uh, secondary, school, uh, secondary school students, elementary school uh, students uh, from 12, uh, to 18 uh, or K12 uh, uh, and 18, and this tendency, uh, this tendency is running uh, uh, into the so-called overall citizen science, when we reach everybody, and we can uh, we can think uh, every people as potential citizen scientists uh, uh, in a whole value chain of um, uh, citizen science. So. Uh, I uh, finishing the citizen science part. Uh, I try to provide a normative but realistic vision of this kind of overall um, uh, perspective of um, of uh, citizen science. <coughs> uh, the key the key physical space of uh, of the future citizen science uh, is the school uh, schools and teachers can be um, uh, the main stakeholders of this overall citizen science development, and they can be a quality managers of the outcomes of distributed research. Um, uh, today, we are talking about scientific literacy as a pre, uh, <laughs> precondition um, um, uh, to, to citizen science project. But if every student is familiar with the uh, um, uh, scientific literacy, and they are active participants of citizen science projects uh, <clears throat> during the school benches years, uh, <clears throat> they, <clears throat> there is no reason not to follow this activity. After the school, they are trained citizen scientists thanks to the schools. So 
to the analogy of lifelong learning, <clears throat> we can talk about lifelong research uh, uh, or when everybody can be uh, a qualified citizen researchers uh, 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 to the end of his or her life. Um, uh, <clears throat> They can form and reform uh, knowledge producing mega machines, citing Louis Mumford's um, uh, word. Uh, and the architecture of it is a scientist, teacher, student um, uh, collaboration. Uh, later, we can change student to uh, lifelong researcher. Uh, <clears throat> from a student's perspective, uh, uh, just to think over that when, uh, when science is, is 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 not a study book um, uh, or a course you 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 have to take part but you can choose your research project you can choose your micro task you can make commitments um, uh, you will learn to be able to perform well uh, in this collaborative um, uh, project and uh, it's a it's a revolutionary moment um, uh, in a 19th century school uh, because you do not get um, uh, the material you have to learn, uh, but you learn to be able to take part in this kind of um, uh, project. Um, in a uh, in a sounds utopistic uh, future, doing science not only um, uh, enjoying the benefits of science, doing science. Participate in existing scientific project is a human right and an important, an important part of a new identity and socialization scheme. Uh, and uh, there is very interesting to combine these narratives uh, with the uh, debates about the future of work, um, uh, about the automatization of production. Uh, in my mind. Uh, uh, this future it do not lead, uh, lead into a hopeless and jobless dystopy, but provide a chance for a new kind of redistributive practice and enough free time uh, to take part in scientific projects, not only for uh, middle class um, uh, researchers. So, <clears throat> As we can see from, um, um, uh, from this uh, uh, witty graphics, citizen science uh, um, is in a cross point of, of different um, um, uh, uh, fields uh, of social realms, but the most important part is the public participation part. Uh, we can see that citizen science is a microverse of public participation universe. Uh, and when we are talking about citizen participation, it um, uh, refers to citizen involvement in public decision making. Uh, but there is a broader concept, the citizen empowerment is not only about the decision ma making, it refers to intentional structural changes in public spaces. So uh, uh, let's taste citizen empowerment empowerment, we are here, uh, and uh, you will see the essence uh, of the definition um, uh, uh, with uh, yellow, and uh, I confess why I dislike the active or active interpretation of empowerment, uh, because it uh, suggests that uh, uh, the leaders are active, uh, uh, people uh, are passive in this uh, uh, process. Our leaders are enlightened enough to, to provide um, um, uh, capabilities um, uh, to the community. Uh, uh, in, in, in my approach, everybody can be active, leaders and uh, people or communities or citizens. Uh, <laughs> empowerment is not a cybernetically directed process by leaders. Um, uh, uh, <clears throat> the space is an emergent space and uh, uh, there are a lot of stakeholders um, um, uh, uh, which forms this space. <clears throat> okay, uh, what, do we, what do we find uh, behind the empowerment um, uh, curtain? Um, uh, this is the crisis of control structures formed in late 19th century. They were revolutionary and successful that time, but obsolete today. We feel this obsolescence day by day. 
and we also feel the, the burning need for paradigm change instead of simple corrections and rectifications of the existing control structures. And uh, uh, we feel the need for um, 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 the, the importance of distributed con uh, control instead of the former hierarchical bureaucratic predecessors. Uh, I think that um, uh, you can fruitfully apply these considerations for the pandemic times, um, uh, principally in knowledge production and decision making aspects of, um, of uh, pandemic history. Uh, <clears throat> and finally, now <clears throat> we can combine these two narratives. Why citizen science uh, is a classic citizen empowerment domain? Why illustrates citizen science the importance of citizen empowerment? Um, uh, in, uh, when we are talking about the pre-modern science, it was everybody's or people's science as titles of books uh, talking about this aspect um, uh, call it. Uh, uh, watchmakers, uh, millers, uh, and, uh, and peasants made science, um, uh, developed technology, um, uh, 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 was thinking like a, um, a, a scientist. And uh, modernity uh, um, uh, means a kind of disempowerment from this point of view. The modern state was extremely professional and effective, um, uh, but uh, generated disempowerment waves. So citizen empowerment means a kind of uh, uh, regaining possibilities or regaining abilities. Um, uh, and uh, uh, in the terms of paradigm change, um, um, uh, we can see how the aggregated choice of citizen scientists result a disruption of agenda setting and resource allocation monopoly of science guilds and nation states science policies. Uh, and what is more important, citizen scientists and their scholar partners reflect their local needs and importances, perceive global and civilizatory challenges, make their own priorities and choices, and build personal motivation and engagement to participate in the solution. What is citizen empowerment? Uh, uh, if, not, if not these um, um, uh, ones. <laughs> and uh, they, these aspects are all reflect the systemic needs um, instead of um, a particular one. So <clears throat> uh, my final question um, um, before starting the discussion period is, if citizen science uh, <clears throat> is a very emblematic uh, part or domain or field of citizen empowerment, where are the other hot potatoes in the empowerment scene? I started a list with the citizen's advice since uh, um, uh, the first forms of it um, uh, was born in the early 30s um, uh, of last century, uh, or what is very popular now in Hungary and the other parts of the world, or, or, or the municipal world, um, uh, is the participatory budgeting. It's a very hot um, uh, 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 citizen empowerment potato. Uh, I love the neighborhood communities um, and neighborhood community technologies, uh, <coughs> which uh, change the simple neighborhoods. Uh, <coughs> and, uh, and now we can see how many other hot potatoes uh, <coughs> on the field. And I propose, um, I, I propose um, uh, to, if you don't mind, uh, it's just an option. If uh, there are no other issues to talk about, we can start to collect or gather um, uh, these hot potatoes into the citizen uh, uh, empowerment pie. Thank you very much for your attention. <clears throat>